All right, so here's another one of my one-handed videos, one-handed by that I'm writing with one hand and shooting with one hand. It'll be a little shaky. This is a warm-up uh, I'm giving tomorrow in class, and it has two basic concepts on here. One's a little harder than the other. But in the first one, you've got a heptagon, which is sometimes called a septagon. That's a seven-sided figure. Side length is six, and I'm telling you the apothem is 6.2. Once again, the apothem is the height of one of those little triangles that radiates out from the center. Uh, you need to calculate the area for that triangle and then the overall area of the polygon. Second problem, I'm just giving you a hexagon that has a perimeter of 24 and you're just supposed to figure out its area. So the first one's definitely easier than the second one. Second one's going to rely on a few tricks. So I'm going to, let's switch over to the work here. So for the first one, first of all, you've got a triangle. But I need a pen that works. You have a triangle that has a base of 1 and a height or a apothem of 6.2. So once again, the apothem is just the name of the height of one of those little triangles that's inside uh, all of those other ones that are radiating from the center. And remember, this was a seven-sided figure that we had here. All right, so for one of those triangles, easy enough, area of the little triangle, which is what I'm starting to call these little triangles, is just one-half, six times six, two. Six, one-half is in there because it's a triangle. So that's 3 times 6.12, so that's going to be 18, 19.2. Uh, Let me just double check that. Uh, sorry, that is wrong. 18.6. All right, that's 18.6, uh, whatever I'm measuring in. In this case, I think it was centimeters squared. Okay, that's one of them. And the question is, that is not the area of the whole thing. That is not the area of the... Uh, what we said was a heptagon. The heptagon, there are seven of those little triangles in there. So it's seven times 18.6. And so the area of that heptagon is 130.2. And at this point, usually these are in combination with like a, a right prism question. And so like if the, air, uh, the height of the prism was 10, this becomes trivial now. It's uh, 10 times 130.2. That is the volume of that um, right prism with this uh, heptagon as a base. Now, what's slightly harder here is uh, I gave you a hexagon, and I told you that the perimeter was 24, which means there's six sides. So 24 divided by 6 means each side is 4 long. And one of those little triangles has an apothem of I don't know length. But we know the central angle here. We've got, we've got six of these things here. So we know the central angle is 360 divided by 6, or 60, which means when I drop this little altitude down in here, this thing right here is going to be 30. It's always going to be half whatever the central angle is. And once again, the central angle is always um, 360 divided by however many sides there are, how many of those little triangles there are. Now, there are two ways to do this. I'm going to do it kind of the long way. I know this is 2, because it's this bisects this, and I know this is something. Now, I could do 2 root 3 if I remember my shortcuts, but let's pretend I don't remember my shortcuts, and this will work for anything. Whatever this angle is, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, A for adjacent as well as for apothem. So I know that the tan of 30 is equal to the opposite over adjacent, or that, let me find tan 30, um, 0.5774 is equal to um, 2 over my apothem. And then I can cross multiply or basically uh, get this, rearrange the formula so it's this, which is off the screen. And then that is, I've got a calculator off screen here. Um, three point, we're going to call it four six. Okay. And let's think about this. Uh, I think this seems reasonable based on kind of my picture here. So my height of that little triangle is 3.46. My base of the whole triangle is four. So my area of my little triangle is one half four times 3.46. So that's going to be Uh, 6.92, and then the area of the whole hexagon 
is how many of those little triangles there are, which there are six of them. So it's 6 times 6.92. And that is approximately 41.5. Centimeter squared. Sorry, off screen. Uh, once again, now if this is the base for a um, right prism, this becomes kind of trivial. I just multiply it times the height, and that is my volume. Um, if it was my, if I was looking for surface area, I'd have to add that in twice, and then do my perimeter times my height um, for surface area. I think that's enough. Once again, uh, this step right here to get down to my apothem, the shortcut to get there would have been. 2 times square root of 3 if I had remembered my um, if I had remembered my uh, 30, 60, 90 shortcuts. That's enough.